Are you getting these type of errors while trying to upload videos to Instagram using automation tools like make.com, Buffer, Metricool or even the official Graph API? Then this video will solve your problem in the next 5 minutes. Your videos are failing to get uploaded because they don't meet the requirements of Instagram's API. And I'm about to show you a hack on how you can fix this and get it working in the next 5 minutes. Completely for free of cost and this method works for TikTok as well. All right, so here's the Mac.com scenario. So I'll be trying to upload a video using this specific module in Mac.com. So this method is going to be working and if you're trying to try this on Buffer or even Metrical as well. So I'm using Mac for this example, but this method could work on any platform as said. So now I'm going to use this specific video here. It is just a five second video. It is not very lengthy. It is very, very small five seconds video. So now I've taken the downloadable link of that video and put it inside this one. You see, I put it over here. So now what I'll say is, I'll say run once, seems to be taking so long. So what's obviously going to happen is that this video is going to error out because this video is not in the required format that Instagram API actually expects. All right, so we just got an error saying that media upload has failed with error code. So yeah, so this is uh, like I said, it does not match the requirement, so it just errors out. So now I'm going to so show you all how, how we, you know, we can get rid of this problem and upload to Instagram without having these type of issues. So for that, we're going to be using the above flow. I'll be giving this blueprint. So all you got to do is just come over here and say import, and then you should have this flow inside your make tocom scenario. So for that, you just, you just got to connect your Google Drive. So I'll move it here. So what I've done is I've taken the file ID of this specific file and put it over here so that will be downloading it and once we download that file we then upload this to Facebook and then we get the file from Facebook we get the link from Facebook and then we send it to an external API that downloads that video from Facebook and now what we do is now we can upload this to Instagram so I'll explain why we're doing this approach so I'm mapping the downloadable link from the previous module inside this one so you just got to use this exact blueprint that I'll be giving you and I'm sure it should work. So the reason is because Facebook accepts all sort of video formats. So even if a video is not, you know, exactly matching, the Facebook API compresses the video as per the platform's requirements and takes the video and then, you know, uploads, uh, compresses it and uploads it into, into the platform. So it's not going to fail. So that is the reason we're first loading it into Facebook and now Facebook compresses it as per the requirements of, um, Instagram API or Meta API and then uploads it into their platform and now then what we do is we get the, we get that specific videos link and then send it to an external API that downloads that video now when it is downloading the video it is going to be in the exact requirements needed for Instagram so now it is not going to error out right so as simple as that so so basically Instagram is not able to compress or re-render the video or change the video encoding to the specific format so it just throws an error but Facebook is able to do so. So Facebook also has the requirements of Instagram, but since it is able to compress it as per the need, it is very, we're just uploading it into Facebook, then taking the link, Facebook link, sending it to an external API and making it download. And then what we do is we just upload it into Instagram and it just works. So there are a couple other solutions for this as well. So it's basically using the tools like Premiere Pro. You can just re and you know, you can just re encode the video and change the video encoding and it should be able to work. But now since we're working with automation, we should be able to do this in an effective way. So there are custom coded solutions. You could use softwares like uh, JSON to video or Creator Mate to uh, re-render re the video and that should be fine. But those are kind of, I feel that is expensive, but this is very easy, reliable and free to use. So, so this is, so you got to just get a subscription to this API, which is also completely free. So you can just go here and what you can do is sign up for this rapid API you could say sign up create an account and once you create an account it will ask you to subscribe to this API so once you're able to subscribe to this API like you can just give it a free plan you could just get the free plan I think it has about 300 requests per month so you can just subscribe to the free plan and once you do that you'll just get your API key right over here and all you got to do is just copy that specific API key over the, from here and go back to make.com and open this module and put your API key right inside this place. That is it. So this is all you got to do. And then you just got to put in the, you know, you could just map the whatever video you're going to upload inside this. And after that, it should download that from Facebook and upload it to Instagram. After that, we could, you, we could add 
a different flows telling to delete a post if needed Let's say delete it and delete a post should work so now I'll just map the video ID from here and then it should get deleted after that. So but this is mandatory. So if so now let me do a one last test to see check if this is getting uploaded or not. So now let me do a one last test to check if this is getting uploaded or not. So now it's going to download and upload to Facebook, get that video and then send it to an external API to download that and then send it to Instagram. So we've got the link over here. So we'd be putting the fourth link, which is 720 pixels, which is the highest quality. So I will be mapping that inside this one and it is going to get uploaded. So let me wait for this to get uploaded. All right. So it is completed. Yeah. Now you can see that we've got the post ID, meaning that the video was successfully uploaded. So now there's no error message. So now it is clear that the video has been uploaded. So long story short, we just try to, we just uploading it into Facebook and then getting the video we're getting the video link right here and we'll be putting inside this one here we will be putting the main uh, link www.facebook.com and after that we'll be putting the next uh that specific source uh link and after that we'd be getting the downloadable link right here which is in number four and after that we'll be setting it to instagram so now since we are uploading to facebook facebook is going to compress it and change it as per the requirements of meta which is same for both facebook and uh, instagram and then we'll be downloading it from facebook and then uploading it to instagram so instagram does not have the ability to compress so that's why it errors out since facebook has that we're just taking an advantage of that and uh, using it to upload to instagram so that's it so if you want to delete it you can use this and you're good so this is more of uh like kind of like a trick that uh, you know i try to use and it works perfectly so i'll also okay let me show you some real life use case that i've used for my clients so you could see this is a system that is built for a client of mine so this is for uploading instagram stories so what we do here is we take that data from google sheet and send it to cloud convert to convert the image and upload it and next is for videos you see we upload it to facebook get the video then we kind of uh, download that and then we add it to google sheet because from google sheet it is sent to zapier and at, at last we delete the post since it is a instagram story so we're just using facebook just for the purpose of as a middleman to convert convert the video uh, format so we'll be deleting the post as it's not required but when it comes to this different automation which is to publish reels videos in that case we'd be publishing in both facebook and instagram so we'll not be deleting that so i've also made a separate video regarding this one regarding this specific automation that i'm showing right in front of you so if you want to watch that please do click uh, the above card or check the description i've linked that video below i've already made a detailed video about this how i built for this client how much i charge and everything so yes yeah, so you see this is exactly the system i've used here so because the reason why i've used for this specific client is because literally all of the videos that this person was uploading was not at all uh, suitable for instagram's requirements so everything was getting errored out so ever since we implemented this it works perfectly fine so i also try to implement uh, use creator made json to video and the client was like i don't want to pay so much just for this specific purpose and then only i discovered this method which was interesting so yeah please do let me know if you've got any doubts once again thank you so much for checking into this and see you all in the next one thank you